welcome to my channel and i'm back with you once again with another video of microsoft flight simulator uh, this is going to be a very short video and uh, this video will cover uh, how to uh, move around in the cabin of the plane and plus uh, in the terminal and on the airport it's very simple to do this in uh, microsoft flight simulator it's uh, right there in front of us but obviously if you're not used to the uh, camera settings it is difficult uh, you cannot figure it out by yourself uh, I just uh, learned this trick few days back and I just wanted to share it with you. It's kind of exciting. So um, uh, once in uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator, go to this option in the camera and showcase. And uh, you must have seen this uh, view over here mm, in the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And um, it's, uh, um, it's like uh, what you can say, a follow mode. Uh, once you're in the flight, you can set to the showcase mode and uh, you can just uh, look at the plane and plus uh, the scenery outside. Now in the showcase mode, if I go to the uh, free camera option and uh, over here, if I go to the camera drone, now I this uh, option is in the drone setting. Uh, over here in this view, you cannot uh, move the camera with the help of the mouse. Uh, rather, you have to use your uh, keyboard, uh, W for forward, S for backwards a for left and d for right and uh, plus you can use r and f to move up and move down now on the numpad you can use uh, the keys uh, um, 8 to look up 2 to look down 4 to look on the left and uh, 3 uh, 6 sorry to look uh, towards the right 5 to reset the drone camera and uh, plus if you press 7 you can tilt the camera towards the left and uh, for 9 you can tilt the camera towards right so that's it now let's have a look at it so if I move down a bit and if I go forward I'll tell you another trick shortly just after having a look at this uh, so uh, the K1 of uh, the flights uh, uh, Boeing 747 is not um, um, is not complete it's only this area the end from where you enter into the plane so you can just uh, view this area and plus if you uh, sorry I'll just go back and if I move uh, over here I can move to the cockpit and interestingly in this mode you can uh, interact with the with the cockpit as well but uh, unfortunately uh, the mouse will not work so you have to uh, rely on uh, uh, the directional buttons it's a bit difficult but obviously once you are uh, uh, used to it you will be able to do it so this is the this is the cockpit view so I'm using uh, the keys on the numpad uh, to basically look left and right. And if I go forward by pressing W, I can go inside the terminal. And if I press 4, I will turn left and look at the plane from the terminal like this. One thing I would like to add is, uh, sorry, I have to go into the camera options. Over here you see drone speed, drone rotation speed and uh, zoom level. Uh, you can uh, control these things, three things in the uh, camera mode. Drone rotation speed you can increase or decrease and uh, plus uh, the drone uh, movement speed you can also increase and decrease and the zoom level. So if I decrease the zoom level it goes uh, like this. So it's more of a, uh, a wide angle view. You can see everything is distorted <laughs> because it's a uh, wide angle if you let's say want to have a nice uh, bird's eye view i think then uh, it's a uh, it's a good view but see uh, the sides are a bit distorted so i keep uh, it over here at uh, 50 percent which is good and uh, plus the drone speed if i increase the drone speed to 100 even a slight press will on the keyboard will actually move very fast 
you can see it's very fast so it's a uh, kind of um, very fast movement if you if you um, like to keep the speed uh, very fast then it's okay because then it's very difficult to control the drone otherwise uh, you can just uh, keep it here at uh, roughly 5% or 4% then it's uh, it's easy to move so now you can see and uh, plus the rotation i've also reduced the rotation speed you can increase the rotation speed uh, similarly you have done it for uh, the drone speed so uh, that's it for today if i press uh, 5 again uh, the drone uh, will reset and uh, plus in this view if i increase the speed uh, let's do let's uh, let's try one thing so even in the um, uh, what do you say uh, microsoft flight simulator you don't have to fly the plane to view the cities you can you know use uh, the drone mode if you want to uh, view the cities and uh, you want to roam uh, freely uh, in this uh, simulator so i hope this video was useful for you and uh, you have uh, enjoyed uh, this view and uh, you will keep on exploring new things in the microsoft flight simulator with me for this don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i keep on making different videos and i keep on uploading them to my youtube channel if you have any comments uh, do let me know in the comment section if you've got any questions you can ask me in the comment section and any uh, positive feedback is always welcome uh, thank you very much for staying with me hope to see you soon have a nice day